niche research for KDP. Now, there's a million different ways that you can go about this. Now, what I'm going to do is share with you a real simple method using Amazon and by using the Amazon best sellers lists. This research method is something that I like to do myself from time to time. I was actually doing this yesterday and I thought, you know what, why don't I make a video all about this? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you this real simple method to find niches for KDP. Now, what we're going to do is utilize the Amazon best sellers and all of these different categories just here. What we're going to do is go through each category one by one, go through all of the lists and then find out if there's any niches, any low content niches that stand out and that are worth our time actually creating books for. So to begin with, what I like to do is come straight over to the broad section of the bestsellers books. Now you can get here by going to amazon.com forward slash bestsellers books, amazon forward slash zgbs forward slash books. Now I will also link this down in the description as well. But first, I like to come over to here before I go through all of the categories. And then I just like to look through the first and the second page to see if there's any books that stand out. Now, what I'm going to do is just quickly scroll down. We're going to see if we can see any low content books that we can then put into a list and dive deeper into at a later date. Now, so far on this bestsellers first page, there's nothing. So then I go on to the second page and then I'll scroll through this just to see again if there's anything that stands out. So we've got a self-love workbook for women. That's kind of low content, so that's one you could look into. But so far on this list, there isn't anything. Oh, here we go. We have my first learn to write workbook. Now, what I like to do is open it up in a new tab, and then we're going to go to that in a second. But so far on the standard bestsellers list, there's nothing here. Now, what we can also do is go into Movers and Shakers, bestsellers of 2023, and new releases. So, in fact, let's go into new releases. Let's take a little look. We'll scroll through these, see if there's anything that stands out. So far, I can't really see anything here on the first page. So now I would go on to the second page. And this is what I'd do I'd just go through all the lists, all the categories trying to find low content books that really stand out. So again, so far for this one, I have not found nothing. So now what I would do is start going through all of the categories. I'd start with arts and photography. Now, if we look here on the left hand side, we actually have lots of different subcategories under that main category as well. And it's going to be the same for all of the other categories. So now under arts and photography, I'll scroll through again, see if there's anything that stands out. So far, we have relaxing patterns. So I'd open that in a new tab. Then I'd just keep scrolling. Now, I promise you, if you spend a good few hours doing this, going through all of the categories, all of the lists, you're going to find niches that you would never, ever thought about. There's another one. This is a color by number. So let's open that in a new tab. Let's keep scrolling down to the bottom. Pumpkin carving stencils. So this is one which I've seen quite a bit over the last couple of days after doing this method. And I am going to get to that as well in a second. But if we scroll down, there's not really much more on this one. So now I'd go to architecture, business of art, collections, decorative, drawing, graphic design, history and criticism, individual artists. There's lots of subcategories under this main category. Now, what I also like to do if we scroll down is go through every single one of these as well. So we have the best sellers we have most wished for. We also have gift ideas. So this gift ideas just here is normally a gold mine when it comes to finding niches. Now, if we take a look here, we have how to draw 101. There's two books just there. There's also Mindful Patterns. 
there's also ABC colouring book. So that's one which I wouldn't have thought about. A reverse colouring book. Then if we keep scrolling, we have more colouring books and a blank comic book for kids. So again, if you do this, come over to the Amazon bestsellers list and then go through every single category and every single subcategory. Yes, it is going to take some time, but that's when the magic happens. But I promise you, if you start doing this on every single category just here, you are going to find some really great niches. Now, this video, what is that? About five minutes long. And we already have my first Learn to Write workbook. We also have, that's not one, Relaxing Patterns. Colour by Numbers. That's not one. We have the ABC Colouring Book. The Reverse Colouring Book. And also Blank Comic Book for Kids. Now, once you've done this and you've got lots of different niches like this, this is when you can start diving deeper. So we can take the main keyword of that book, we can then go to all departments, and then we can type that in, and this is where we can start diving deeper. So right off the bat, we can see I've actually got two Chrome extensions installed at the minute. I need to disable one of them. But if we use self-publishing Titans Pro, we can then dive deeper into this. We can filter by opportunity and demand. So blank comic book for kids, estimated 3,700 search volume, search results 1,700 with a really good demand and a really good opportunity. Then on this side, there's not really much on this, but this is what I do for every single niche which I find in the Amazon bestsellers and then I'd take the main keyword, plug that in, start diving deeper to find all those extra keywords. So now, if I moved on to the next one, which was a reverse colouring book, if we take this, and then go to all, plug that in, we can then take a look at all the extra keywords. Just give that a second, there's quite a few. We're going to filter this, so we have an opportunity of nine and demand of six. That's the reverse colouring book. Then this one, reverse colouring book, flowers. The reverse colouring book for adults. Estimated search volume, 2,800. Search results, around about 1,000. Demand looks okay. An opportunity looks good as well. So again, go through all of the categories under books. Start looking at the bestsellers. When you come onto parts like this where it's got new releases bestsellers movers and shakers go through all of those lists as well now like i said i was actually doing this yesterday and i came across this this is a niche which i've never ever seen before put into a book now it's a little bit late to go ahead and do this as halloween is now in a couple of weeks so you might want to save this idea for next year but this is a really good idea. And look at the sales that it's had over the last 30 days. That's 2,724. Now, if we click on here, we can see what it looks like. It's just a pumpkin carving stencils with over 130 Halloween templates. Now, in fact, if we come all the way down to here, we can see what the inside of the book looks like. Let's just mute that. Let's do this. We can see, look at this, this is a very simple book. But again, if I hadn't of put in a little bit of work going through all of the best sellers, I would have never found a niche like this. And again, if you go through all of the lists, which are just here, go through one by one, go through all of the subcategories as well, and spend a good few hours doing this, I guarantee you're going to find some great niches. So come through, give it a go. I am going to leave a link for this page, the Amazon bestsellers, down in the description, so it's a little bit easier for you to go and find. And if you want to watch more of my videos, then click right here and watch this.